All right, guys. Don't have much to post right now, but uh, it's kind of loud because my dad's mowing. But we're gonna post about my garden here. It's uh, looking pretty good. Just show y'all what's up. First, we got a row of uh, dill. Uh, don't know how that one got there and how big it, how it got that, whatever. But uh, we got some dill. It's still real little, as you can tell. But it's uh, it's coming up. Looks pretty good. Hey kitty. Kitty do kitty. Anyway, let's get back to the garden. Um, this is a yellow squash. A tomato plant that's here from last year. Don't know how it's here, but I think a tomato like had seed, got rotten and grew. Um, another squash, yellow squash. This is all a nice row of yellow squash. Looks pretty good. What happened though, that stuff's real small. What happened is we planted the first time, or I planted the first time, and some of the seed was bad. That's why a lot of stuff is real funky here. I'll tell y'all more later, but some of the seed I planted later and then it didn't come up. Well, we got more seed that was new seed, planted it later. So that's why some of that looks like that. Uh, nice row of okra. It looks, looks nice. I mean, I like it. Um, yeah, and then we got carrots this is like the one of the first times that i've actually had carrots to work knock on wood normally i just can't get them to come up i just not got luck with them but this time they come up really good across the whole row i don't know we tried other things in the years before like putting burlap and stuff over the top to keep it moist all the time but this year i said well we're just gonna try and just planted it and gave water to it every day and it worked it worked real good so yeah happy with that right here we got zucchini or green squash uh, like I said here's the stuff that came up the first time that's a little bigger but there was a lot of stuff that didn't come up the first time so had to plant a lot of new stuff the beans I got green beans here they look they look pretty good but there is a big big old gap here and what happened is my dad spreaded some weed killer and stuff on the grass well it doesn't kill grass but it kills weeds and it rained and all of that stuff washed in and it toasted them beans i'm big old gap it's all dead um also there was a plant down here too of the zucchini that got cooked but the other stuff didn't get hit too hard nothing came up on the bottom really over there um then we've got um cucumbers is that's what this is it also is a cucumber plant here but it that water came through and it cooked it right there too so like it cooked the beans dead um some of it didn't come up we planted a little more so it's, it's little but the zucchini looks good hopefully with the zucchini and the dill we'll make some pickles because i like pickles if you like pickles leave a comment saying love pickles because pickles are good right here we got some sweet corn um difference between regular corn and sweet corn it's hard to tell a difference really other than sweet corn's a lot bigger i'll show y'all a picture of, or show y'all some sweet corn in a second i mean the uh, field corn my bad regular corn a lot of us call it field corn but sweet corn this is the corn that you're gonna eat the corn that you're gonna see in the store it's it's better i mean it's sweet it's what's to it you don't really taste it but if you taste some field corn you know what it's like it's bitter just not good this stuff looks looks good uh we're starting to silk on this stuff it's tasseling in case you don't know what tasseling means it's this tassel part and that is what helps pollinate the ear and the ears right there the silk and the ear and it pollinates it and then each little silk or hair whatever you want to call it each one of those goes to every single kernel and the corn stalk or corn ear corn my bad and uh makes that kernel grow makes it have the nutrition it needs and everything that's kind of what that does pollinates it and everything um so yeah that's my sweet corn it's looking real good i did a test on it the first three rows have some regular fertilizer that should not have done i don't think it's hurting my stuff so then we've got some nitrogen that we put on the our bigger fields and that stuff i think that's all i'm going to use later on but 
it really stood out a lot better did a lot better it's a darker green just a better plant overall it was further along in the year it's hard to tell now but it was the first one to tassel just looks better and then i think the fertilizer had some weed killer in it something and it was affecting the plant and making the wind really do damage on it it was really laying it over it looks better now but you can tell them them stalks are really leaning i don't know if it's, it's actually hard to tell like look at that it, it leaned it i don't know that wind pushed it over and it just leaned it over real bad but this stuff didn't get as bad damage to it as you can see i don't know if that had to do with the fertilizer i was putting on it but i ain't using that stuff no more then got a row of cotton it's looking looks pretty good actually i like it like it a lot uh only thing about cotton is in case you don't know don't give it a whole bunch of water because as they say it doesn't like wet feet in other words it doesn't like being real wet cotton is a hot it still wants water and everything but it's a plant that likes heat it likes 80 90 100 degree degree weather to grow in so something to learn um also i shouldn't have watered it like i did in case you don't know even with corn all plants really you want that stuff to really grow its roots down in the ground and everything before you start giving it water and anything fertilize really i just fertilize mine when it comes up to grow or like starts sprouting and germinating and everything and i water it then once it gets i don't know half a foot tall cut everything off of it let god do everything else until it starts tasseling or as cotton it puts a little square on and then grows a bowl of cotton that's whenever you start giving it fertilize and everything that's when it needs the nutrients to build the fruit or whatever you want to call it up that's when it needs its nutrients and then my dad threw in a peach tree here i don't really know why but he just put it here so yeah it came grown a little bit but it's grown some yeah yeah we chopped quite a bit in here the other day or we actually have been chopping every day and then here's some field corn as you can you know try and, eh, I, I don't know if it's gonna show up good but it's probably seven foot tall it's really tall um our field corn in our fields it's been a while since we've had some good looking corn but this is some good looking corn i've really been happy with watching this all year um it's tasseling up there you can tell it's got its ears of corn normally you just see your one ear of corn or two ear of corn normally but this plant i'm telling you it's got one coming there one coming there one coming there one there one there these are the only two that are silking already is what they call it whenever it starts getting that silk is what this hair is called and like i said it pollinates that once it's it's only got two started soaking i don't know what i was just about to say it's only got two silken hopefully i can get all of those to come and start growing and everything really like those to show up and see what this is made of but um something that happened with this field here is i had it note or this piece i had it no-tilled i didn't plow it had a cover crop on it it was really had a big organic matter built up well i planted it and it hadn't came up yet out of the ground it was sprouted I think it was sprouted, I don't know, I didn't look, but my dad told my brother to come till the garden for everything else, because this is planted pretty early compared to everything else, everything else wasn't planted, my dad told my brother to come till the garden, and he tilled my corn, so it's still in a row and everything, but like you can tell like that one there just got sent off to the side, like a tiller just flips the ground upside down, but it doesn't really stir it too much around, but it just messed it up, kind of. So, yeah, but that's the only thing that disappointed me in this field. I was really mad that day. We're not going to talk about that. But it looks good, but um, here's my head. Uh, in case you don't know, like that's where my head stops. It's probably, I'm five foot tall. It's probably seven, eight foot tall. This is some big corn. Um, right now is when I'm really worried about getting its nutrition and water and everything it needs because it's got silken and it's got tassels. This is this is where it all is this is what we've been waiting for so keep you updated on this this is surprising i haven't i haven't posted much about my garden but i didn't have much to post and i feel like posting something so this is what we're posting but i don't know I'm really surprised keep you updated it looks looks real nice actually i got something else to show you all kind of interesting the sun's really going down it's I don't know, 8 o'clock right now. 
Yeah, there's a field of cotton. And my grandpa, I don't know if you can. That's sweet corn way out there. That's my grandpa's garden. He's got lots of sweet corn though. He provides a lot of people with sweet corn. Uh, you could probably come stop and buy some, but I don't know if we're doing selling any this year. If we do, I'll let y'all know, but here's some corn. It got planted way later. I even had to replant some. It just didn't come up good. It hasn't looked good all year, really, to be honest. It's kind of been a disappointment. Don't know why I showed y'all. Then I had two rows of cotton planted, and I gave it that fertilizer I was talking about, not the nitrogen and the other stuff. And um, you can't even tell because it blends in with the ground, but I think that stuff does have some weed killer in it because it absolutely cooked my cotton instead of helping it. And just look, 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 look at this. What is this? And then some of it still okay, but I replanted. I probably shouldn't have because it's probably too late but uh what's this just some leaves to probably a dead cotton plant but yeah it uh it looks pretty good i think uh swing set uh needs to get out of here but it's kind of getting annoying hit your head on that slide a couple times and it really makes you mad but anyway uh keep y'all updated and dill and cucumbers remember <laughs> add a comment if you like pickles Pickles are the best. If you've ever had homemade corn on the cob, you know, but if you don't, you should try it one day. It's it's something different. Gotten a lot of experience. I've been I've kinda upgraded before. All I had is that place underneath the swing set and we would just plant like other stuff here. But the other year we didn't even have any garden because no one planted it, so this year I stepped up and I said, I'm planting it all. I'll do it then if no one else wants to do it. So I did it. But uh, I took that piece of land and like made that some land there that I could plant in and then use some of this for the sweet corn and stuff. So stepping up my game, I've been at it a while already, a couple years. So I'm kind of experienced. Every year you try to learn something. Uh, Y'all go watch Braxton. His name is Cow Stuff, I think is what it's called. Go look him up. He's starting his garden. Try to give him a few tips here and there. But, uh, yeah, uh, we're going to try to plant some radishes, if you know what those are, as a cover crop here next year in some spots. Not all of it, probably, but in some spots, it's really going to help loosen up the ground. If you know much about cover crops, then, you know, if not, it's really got a lot to it. Um, we don't do it, but we want to get to it. I would really love to get to it because I love just experiencing new things with crops and ground and all that stuff it seems fun but uh yeah this corn is looking real good cotton too i'll keep y'all updated but uh like and subscribe um uh, hopefully i'll be here soon to post again but see y'all in the next one